Welcome back to our urban adventure. In this episode, we take our city to the next level. Get ready to witness our city evolve and thrive as we tackle new challenges and pave the way for a brighter future in Blightville. Today, we're gonna to be working on this road here, particularly this junction, because it's horrendous. And we're gonna be restructuring this road down here. To do that, we're gonna to have to get rid of a bunch of the houses in this area, unfortunately. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna carry the highway on down here, and then we may do some rezoning up at this area in a little while, and we will probably rezone this area too. I want to move all of this industry over to this side of the tracks and I kind of want to make sort of this theme of having a lot of the nice stuff on sort of this side <laughs> of the highway and then a lot of the not so nice stuff on this side of the highway and I think that will kind of be cool. The first thing I'm going to do though, let's jump into sorting out this highway because it's just not working for us. It does mean however we're going to have to get rid of a bunch of buildings down here so let's just start off by cancelling out, well, by deleting all of these roads that are going to get in our way at some point. It's kind of like backwards progress. It's, it's a step back to go forwards, but we'll, uh, we'll suck it up and I'm sure it will turn out for the best. And then I'm going to delete these like, right up to that junction there. Next thing I'm going to need to do is get rid of these. This is just disgusting. It's not working for us. I hate it. Let's get rid of that. So let's get our highways and we're going to get the three lane highway and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to come up and um, probably, what am I on? I'll, I'll do this and I think I'm going to come up off the ground about four because that I think that's just the natural height of the overpasses. Let me just, just to make sure, if I go from here to there and then we go under here, oh yeah that's plenty of room isn't it for, for trucks and stuff to get under. So now we've got a guide for the lining up of our highway. Let's bring this over a little bit, probably to here. That looks okay. And to there. Now I'm going to take a smaller road highway and we're going to come around to the, to the outside road over here. And I'm going to need to come, some, I'm going to need to do something like that. And then I want to leave a gap, basically the other side of this highway to fit the ro a road under. So if I go to there, that leaves me with a lot of gap to go underneath uh, here, under that bit, uh, which is my plan. I will be doing that in a second. Right. So let's think now. If we're going, this is the way onto the highway. So on this bit, what I'm going to do is grab a smaller road and we're going to twist this around. So it's going to come from here. It's going to twist around and go under itself and join onto the highway over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out. Uh, let's see. Let's just say, let's go with four. I think that should be okay. And from there, I'm going to go out four in this direction, but we're going to come, we're going to go down one. Because what we're going to do is we're going to create a sort of a natural slope here. And then this one we're going to go down go down two. And if you don't know what I'm doing yet, don't panic. Um, <laughs> you will, <laughs> I hope. What I want to do from here is grab our highways again. And we're going to do the freeform tool. And we're going to come out. I'm going to need road guidelines back on now for this. I'm going to go to there and then there. And same for here oh no I didn't want that and then from here to there and now this is going to be the tricky bit because we're going to be quite close to the road but from here I want to go down to the ground we're gonna to have to turn off snapping I believe so let's turn that off okay if we just go to uh, if we go to there I want it as close to there as possible without it snapping to there. Okay, is that a natural slope? It's pretty good. When I delete these, uh, what I'll do is I'll delete them now so you can see. So when I delete this here, that should make quite a natural slope. It does. That corner is a bit tight, isn't it? <laughs> I think that'll be okay though. I'm, I'm comfortable with that. And then I'm going to have this run along here. And I think I might turn snapping back on to keep us in line here. And how, how long do I want this entrance way to 
be maybe like that long. And now I just need it to curve in over here. I think that should be okay. I don't like how it sort of bulges out there. So what I'm going to do is just do the move it mod. And I'm going to just curve this in ever so slightly just to make it sort of straight. Yep, that should be okay. I think that looks so cool. Right, so the next thing I want to do is we're going to have to do the on-ramp now, which is going to come from this side, and it's going to go around here. That looks pretty good. And the ramp the ramp height is perfect. That's what I'm going for, right? I want the ramp height to be absolutely spot on. And I think that does look great. Right, so now we've got the on-ramps and off-ramps for this road. We need to do the same for the other road. It's going to be a lot easier on this road, though. If we go from back here, that should give us plenty, plenty of room now. There we go. And then we're going to come around this way and page down again to the... Maybe I'll page down twice and try and get to the floor at this point like that there we go and then I'm gonna try and join up in the same place uh, over here oh that looks great that looks really good okay now we just need to do the same on the other side All right, and just like that, we've done our connections to this road. And I think that should work much better than the one we've currently got, as long as everything is going in the right direction. <laughs> so let's make sure these roads are all correct. So we're going to go, we're going to upgrade. Uh, we're going to change that one around, change that one around. And then what we're going to do, when we get to this point where we're over the road, I'm actually going to go into a two-lane road. And from that bit, then it's going to be a three-way road. There we go. And this is going to need to change direction. That's all going the right way. That's all going the right way. And so now I just need to upgrade this road to a two-lane. And then that little section there to a three-lane. All right. There's the junction done. And it did take me a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks great right that does look pretty good and then we're going to use some lane mathematics um, as Biffa would say and we're going to bring down this section to two lane roads um, so basically what that will do is it will create um, a, a, ded a dedicated on and off ramp oh because I used the move it mod here I can't do this uh, let's move it back out a second see if we can downgrade and then we'll move it back in <laughs> that looks disgusting uh, there we go something like that what will happen now is the cars in these lanes will this lane will become a designated turning lane and these two lanes will go straight on and same for the other side uh, now what I want to do is carry this on up over to the top of those hills so let's do that I'm gonna bring those over here and I'm gonna turn snapping back on We'll stop with that around about there, and I'm going to do the same the other way. Okay, now the the plan now is to get these up onto this hill here, but without making them change in elevation. So I want to bring this over, and you see how it's moving up in elevation. Let's get closer to this road for a start. You see it's going up? Well, I kind of want it to stay at the same level. So if we page down, what, three times? Would that do it? I think three times is the key for that. So we'll do the same on the other side. We'll bring it level here. And then at this point, no, is it is it hitting? Hmm, I need, maybe I need to bring it past level on this point. That'll do. So if I just bring it up to here, and then we're gonna page down three times. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's really good. Okay, and then I'm just going to continue this along, and we'll do that. 
and then I'll upgrade this road. And uh, that's the highway sort of done. Um, maybe I'll bring it along a little bit further. Bring it all the way to the, to the line. And I think at the end here, we'll just join them up. All right, so that highway now goes all the way over there. We need to nip, we need to make a connection now to this road here, and we'll probably have something to get off in this general area as well. I'm going to be changing this road. Um, these two roads here, they've been nothing but a headache for me, to be honest. So I'm going to get rid of them, and we're going to change them out for uh, one of these roads. So we're going to have this. It's going to come under this road. Just like that and then it's going to replace those roads up there so i'm actually going to get rid of this road now so what i'm going to do is connect those and i'm going to bring this oh i'm going to have to get rid of that connection there i'm going to bring this up all the way up uh the connections i'm gonna have to get rid of turns out i'm gonna bring that all the way up here and I think this will still be fine. Um, and then I'll just need to do some um, entrances and exits at various points. So let's just do something like that. Um, that's going to be... There's probably going to be some congestion here. I may need to turn this into a roundabout. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Uh, for this section, all I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some off-ramps and just make a very simple um, on and off-ramp system here. I'll come back quite a way to give this some time to get sort of down to that level. Okay, that looks okay. And now I want to sort of replicate that the other side. There we go. How does that look? That looks pretty good. Hmm, a bit wonky there. I'll probably let that go for the sake of this episode progressing. <laughs> so we'll leave that. I'll come back to that later if I really want to. Okay, and we're going to do the junction at the same point. There we go. And that's probably very steep, isn't it? No, not, not that bad, actually. Okay, perfect. I think that's pretty good. Uh, so we'll we'll hope that that's going to work for now. And I don't know if I want to join this road up. I feel like this road should stay disconnected. And we'll have another connection up here. This connection is going to be fun. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab my infrastructure tool. I'm going to go with this one probably. Let's put this up in the sky. Can I rotate this? And we'll come all the way to there. And then we're just going to bring it down. That should be okay. Yeah, that's okay. It's not the end of the world. It's a little bit wonky, isn't it? Is it me or is it a little bit wonky? It'll have to do. It's all I've got. Short of doing this myself, which I really can't be bothered to do. <laughs> it will have to do. Uh, so from there and then to there and there. Right, we've got our structures in place. Get rid of this one. Get rid of that one and get rid of that one. And get rid of that one. All I'm going to do now is just get some entrance and exit ramps on and off of this um, of this roundabout. So we'll go to there. And I'm literally just going to connect them wherever I can. Does that look right? That does look right. Okay. And... Guess we'll go to there and there yeah that looks okay and then from there i'm gonna actually oh actually let yeah let's upgrade the road first i want this to be do i want this to be two lane road i think i do but i'm gonna change it into highway i actually think i should change it to the three-way highlight highway you'll see why in a second and then I'm going to have two-lane road come off it, you see. Right, now, how am I going to get this down? How steep do I want this? I guess I could just do, like, one line. Because at least then I can keep it the same for both sides. Okay, there's our on and off ramp uh, for this side. So this road is going to go to... Oh, I'm going to have to build a bridge. Oh, that's this is going to be fun. 
Okay, so we're going to go to there, and now we're going to build a bridge across this section, and that's going to allow a road to go under from like there. So if we have that road go there, that'll give us a good idea of where we need this to avoid. So if I do page up, oh, what are we going to have to do for this? Oh, here we go. So uh, page down from there. Is that level? Mm, more or less. So if I bring that over. Now I want to page down it over here. How does that look in? It doesn't look too bad. It looks okay. We'll uh, we'll leave that for now. I feel like it's a bit overkill, <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, I want this to then just come straight across here. We'll go to there. From here, we're going to do another bridge. Oh, look, this is going to be good. We'll do a bridge over there. And that will be pretty cool at some point. Do that in the future. The only thing I need to do now is I want to create a dedicated on and off ramp for this area that I'm going to have over here, which will be purely for the industry's uh, use. That will do. And then what I'm going to do to make sure that these places don't connect is I'm going to undo that little bit of road there. So... We can't get off this junction straight into this area. I don't want that to be the case. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to design this road section over here. So I'm going to come all the way up to here. And then to there, I think. And then I'll bring it around to there. And then for this one, I'm going to come all the way down. All the way down here. And I'm probably going to want to then go back up around about there. Now the thing is, I'm not sure. I want these two to meet up. So I'm going to draw this in for now. But it'll be deleted in a second. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to connect up this area, just like that. Um, and how am I going to do this? this probably here no that's disgusting <laughs> that truly is disgusting i'm gonna have to move some nodes i want to keep them sort of in line so if i just move there we go uh that's okay that's not the end of the world is it that's that's fine. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to have a road connect under here. Now, so what I don't want to happen is I don't want cars to come off here, turn this way and go over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a bridge um, right here that goes over this bit of road. And probably the best way to do this is to line them up, bring my road here up uh, four, and then I'm going to have it come down there. Same for this one. There we go. That should look okay. Let's see. Yeah, it looks really good. Happy with that. Right. I think it's about time we lay out some roads. And I'm going to go ahead and lay out a bunch of roads all at once. And I'm going to time lapse it for you guys. So enjoy. All right, so the last few areas to zone are basically like all of these areas. <laughs> so I'm going to go and do that off camera because that's a lot of zoning to do. But I'll come back and show you the results. Well, a whole bunch of time and a whole bunch of money later, and I've got all of the map plumb plumbed in. Well, all of the first square plumbed in, I should probably say. And all of the roads done. Look at this. I think I've, I've done a pretty good job on this, if I do say so myself. I'm still yet to zone in this square, I've just noticed, but oh well. <laughs> Everything looks pretty good. So I'm going to have industrial 
all the way down here. This is all going to be industrial. Or maybe not. I'm not sure because there's not enough connections to the highway. Um, maybe if I come this way one more, I'll make all of this industrial. Mm, I don't know. F for now, these two grid sections are going to be industrial. Okay, I'll do all of it. <laughs> all of this is going to be industrial. All of this is going to be residential. This is going to be residential as well. But it's going to be like yucky residential. Like you're not going to want to live here. <laughs> um, up here is going to be sort of nicer residential, I think. I think I'm going to put some some quite luxurious builds up here eventually. Not straight away, but eventually. It's quite nice, I think, them being on a hill overlooking the city so far. I think that'll be quite good. And then what I've done, basically, we're going to be expanding down. Uh, let's Let's get my camera to a point where you can see it. There we go. We're going to be expanding down this way because there's an ocean front down here, which I think would be quite good to uh, exploit, really. <laughs> We're going to be coming across here and down that way. Uh, so now comes the arduous task of figuring out which places I want to expand and which places I don't. So the easiest place for me to say I'm going to expand is this area because I've already got, um, I already know that I'm going to be doing industrial in this area and I'm literally just going to paint it in. Boom. Industrial. <laughs> Same for this side. It's going to be industrial, so I may as well just go and do that. And I think I'll probably do industrial all along this road as well. And all of this is going to be industrial. We've already decided. So there we go. Industrial. <laughs> industrial area done. As soon as I start getting some industries over here, I'm going to completely de-zone that area. And we're going to rezone it with industrial builds it does mean i'm going to have to re-put in my infrastructure though so i'm going to need to save up some money because i'm going to need like all of my power plants and things i'm going to need everything to get over to this area uh, we're having some rubbish issues uh, but that's okay this is blightville after all and blightville is um well not a very nice place to live <laughs> uh, let's see okay i'm gonna have to get some sort of power in here because we're gonna um, have issues very shortly there we go right now those places should be powered and i just need a if as soon as something grows here we're fine okay we're going to need garbage processing facilities very shortly and i'm going to want these to have access to everything actually so i'm going to do them right here next to this main road and i'll do another one as soon as i have the money let's just take out a loan <laughs> where are my loans um how do i do the loans where are they to loans Let's take that one. Let's get another recycling facility right there. And I might also get a landfill. I'll put that right, right there. Okay, recycling facilities are in place. Power lines need to be put in place for this over here though. So that should now connect that area up. Okay, now let's just like zoom forward and build up some money. While that's building up some money, let's check my connections and make sure they're working well. Well, this one is working fantastically. I've done it. I've, I've done an absolute baller job <laughs> on, on that junction. Super happy about that. I really love this this layout as well. Um, I've sort of come off the grid layouts with, with these bits, uh, which I'm pleased about too. I have plans for this. This is going to be like Central Park. I'm going to have some parks in these two uh, two zones. I think that will go will look really good. What's this? Uh, not enough customers. Oh, we've got a real residential demand here. Let's fill this in with residential. Uh, I think I'll do all of this. No, I won't. I'll do this as residential and I'll do this as commercial. Will I? No, I, w I won't do that as commercial. I won't. I will do commercial on this back street here to sort of prevent the noise pollution. You know, it'll block out the noise from the highway. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> that's what i'm hoping will happen here and i can probably do residential off this road as well we need to check on our our ability to actually provide power to these places we're running out of power uh, so a power plant is necessary very quickly power plant we're gonna have to use one of these coal ones we'll put this over here and I'm going to need to do a second one in a, in a minute. I wonder if I can just pick up these. How much is it to move this? Have I got the money? I have. And can I move this one as well? I can move this one to there. 
what else do we need to move? So we've got the recycling center here. I'll move that over to... I'm going to need to get up to this area at some point. So what if I make this like a, a tiny industrial area? Just this little tiny square here. I'll make that a tiny, tiny industrial area. I might be able to get away with a windmill up here as well. The thing is, they're quite noisy. They're very noisy. And I'm not liking that, actually. So we're going to leave that. We'll just get some power lines and we'll run a power line up here. I've come to the point where I want to dezone the industrial area here. It's going to be messy, <laughs> but we need to do it because I want to get all of this um, filled up with residential zone. Um, well, now, basically. The only thing I'm a bit concerned about is I've got a cemetery here. I'm not going to be able to relocate until I empty it. And I've got a cemetery somewhere else, I think. I hope I've got a cemetery somewhere else. Let's double check that. Have I got a cemetery anywhere else? Up there. Hmm, that's a bit far away. I'm going to place a new one down here. Uh, where, where should I place this? I don't know the best place for this. Maybe there? I want it to be quite close to here. I'll, I'll put it here. And yeah, we're going to empty it and move it. What's this? A firehouse. We, we can keep that there. Uh, what's this one? Oh, everyone's going crazy. Everyone's going crazy. What's this? Uh, that's just a fish factory. That that can go. What, what, why is it still there? <laughs> okay, so eventually I'm going to rezone this into residential. And I'm hoping that the industry needs will, will come over here. I've just tanked my earnings, though. <laughs> that was horrendous. Uh, there's a lot of ground pollution here. I don't think it grows back. I think we that's just something we'll have to live with now. The ground pollution there. But this is going to be like the, the not so nice area to live anyway. So, so I'm not bothered about that too much. I may even just go ahead and zone this in now. So let's see. Um, I'm also going to zone off of this road. And this road. Just, just two. I don't want to go all the way. I don't want to zoning off this road, but I'm fine with it on the bottom of this road. I'm just trying to squeeze in as many citizens as I can, really. So let's do this. Um, do I want to do this? Yeah, I'll do it like that. I'm going to get rid of these ones for now. So we'll zone this in. We'll zone this in. I'm going to zone those two. I'm going to zone this one and that one. And I'll keep this one for um, some types of buildings. <laughs> I don't know which types. I could even probably leave the cemetery here because I don't think it's a bad thing to have a cemetery in the middle of a neighborhood. Um, yeah, I'm fine with that, to be honest. Just a quick update on the highways. Everything is traveling very smoothly along here. It did just obviously get a massive boost in the way of getting rid of all of this industry but it's going to grow back in and it is going to mean that we're going to have a bunch of traffic come back in for the industry uh, in just a second i think probably the quickest way for the industrial vehicles to get into the industry from the highway is this way i don't think they're going to come all the way down here all the way along here all the way up here and then that way i feel like that's just too far for them to travel when they can just get off there potentially in this area they could they could get off here and travel up this way but that's okay if they do that that that's not going to upset me too much while i'm waiting for the industry to zone in i realized i've had the upgraded roads now with the trees and the grass which is going to reduce noise pollution and also um, increase the land value and i'm going to use that in this area here so i'm going to upgrade all of these roads to the ones with the trees and my my people are going to love this this is going to be like their favorite upgrade ever okay that's looking really cool uh this area oh the the ground pollution is actually going so that's good i want this area to be quite um sort of slummy if i'm being honest um because it's like the you know it's the other side of the bridge so we want that area to be yucky um we want this area to be nice so i'm gonna do oh no do we want this area to be nice though as well i'm not sure 
Yeah, I'll make this area nice as well. And we'll just have that as the yucky area. And this is the yucky area. I think that's what I'm going to do throughout this series is we'll be able to know what the difference is between the rough areas and the nice areas based on the sidewalks. I think that's a good way to do this. Have we got nice ones of these? We do. So we can even have like this bit be nice as well. All right. And okay, let, let's go ahead and do this one as well. It doesn't really have a use yet, this road, but it will eventually. It will take citizens... Uh, sort of across the city. It'll link citizens from this area up to over over here. That's what I want it to do anyway. Also, it's just going to look good, I think. Uh, we'll leave up here for now. I'm happy with that. Okay, looks good. Let's zoom in on these places and just see what they look like. They do look like happy little towns. We need more people to grow into this place, though. Definitely need a lot more people to grow into this place. Oh, we've got Big Town now. So we're at a population of 8,500. So we're going places, guys. We are going places. Um, oh, and now I've got the, the office buildings. Oh, that's, that's a huge game changer, actually. Can I zone that in? Where do I want office buildings? Let's see. That's a job for next episode. I don't want to get carried away this episode. I've already done a lot. All right, guys, we're at 11,000 just about citizens. It's going up slowly. Um, I was a little bit higher, but then I lost some population here because we had electricity issues. Um, the only major traffic problem I can see is along this road. It's not very good. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of traffic in and out of here constantly. What I'm finding is, as well, a lot of traffic is coming along here, going up this road and getting onto the highway this way because this way is a little bit more congested. I don't want that because it's slowing this traffic down coming into the city. So it's not too bad right now, but there are definitely spikes where this gets horrendous. Like right now is pretty bad. It's getting onto the highway to the point where actually cars are despawning, which is not good. I didn't even know I had despawning on is that standard if i go to options and gameplay um car despawning is that on here vehicle despawning can you see that anyway i think that's on the traffic manager president edition right where you, you can cancel traffic despawning um but that's not good i don't like the fact that i that it's all despawning it's not good uh so i wonder if it's on miscellaneous no, I might need to download Traffic Manager to turn off vehicle despawning. I didn't know that was even happening. So that's probably making my roads look a lot better than they actually are. But that is telling me, if it's backing up all the way up here, it's telling me that I need to improve this area. So before we call it a day on this episode, I need to improve this area. And the first thing I'm going to do is remove the connection from that road to there. And I'm going to actually now reconnect uh, to... I'm going to need a double lane road... I'm going to reconnect using this road to here. So I'm probably going to do that. There we go. And yeah, I'm just going to leave that connection. I'm just going to get rid of it. It's gone. <laughs> so now you can't come up this street to get onto here. You, you can get around that way, but it's going to be quite difficult. I may just do something like this. No, I'm not going to even do that. I'm just going to leave it there. And the second thing I'm going to do is I think I'm going to turn this into a roundabout. Uh, let's just, we'll press play for now. And we'll see if that, just that little change speeds things up. I've also put a stop sign in here, which I'm going to get rid of. Uh, where's my traffic one? Okay, so if I click on junctions, I'm going to get rid of that stop sign and just let traffic flow completely freely. I might put traffic lights back in, we'll see. But for right now, it's just on, like, free-flowing, and they're just all giving way to each other. And I think that's kind of working, to be honest. Okay, quite surprisingly, it has. <laughs> I thought that having no stop lights on here or anything would, would cause issues. Not so much, actually. So that's really good. I'm pretty pleased with that. Are there any traffic issues anywhere else now? I don't think so. I think we're looking pretty good. This is a pretty busy junction, but it doesn't cause major issues. If I turn on our traffic, actually, we can see the red spots. So this area now is bad. Uh, it's because cars are coming down here 
along there and out this way which i mean i'm kind of okay with don't really mind that i would probably prefer them not to join quite so soon um we might be able to just do away with that anyway what if i take off the stop signs from here as well because i'm sure there's stop signs on there i need to turn off edge scrolling because it's really frustrating uh junctions again with that there is junctions let's just take this stop sign off as well where's the traffic now oh there's other traffic now that's causing issues uh this traffic here seems to be the problem now let's just watch it for a second it moves around the city you see so now i've made this area much more efficient the traffic is redirecting to other places that i don't necessarily want it to redirect to um, but we'll just see um potentially once everything is in place we'll see a, a drop in traffic anyway because our city is still growing and that can cause some traffic spikes like this one right here look at this gosh are they going to despawn i hope not i think we're going to get rid of them pretty quickly let's just keep watching this bit because that's quite worrying but i think it's because we're seeing a lot of influx of people yeah it's gone it's gone it took it took three lots of red lights must have been rush hour but it's gone so that's fine the traffic on this road is okay yeah that's not the end of the world i could put i could get rid of the traffic lights here and put stop signs but i'm kind of okay with that oh here's an issue nope that's not even an issue that's not that bad have i got traffic lights right there i don't like this traffic lights all right next to each other i'm just gonna put stop signs on these roads here and we'll have one lot of traffic lights there and i don't really need traffic lights here either i just need stop signs there because there's very very light traffic coming from those roads let's zoom out and take a look everything looks like it's going pretty well now oh our money has gone up considerably by the way <laughs> that's uh, that's nice have i paid off both my loans i think i have i have paid off my loans that's good to know as well okay that's a that, i mean that's a huge amount of progress right guys so what can you look forward to in the next episode? Well, next episode, I'm going to be making this place a lot prettier. So I won't be doing very much zoning. If anything, I'll probably just be putting in lots of parks and community places and making this place look a million bucks. Uh, I'll probably start adding in some high density buildings. I'm thinking that I want this area in particular to become a real focal point for the city. Um, as I've been playing this, it's kind of just developed into that anyway it's very central and we've got this huge open space here that i'm i'm actually thinking i'm gonna put a hospital or a police station in here or something like that and do parks around it and um with this place i've kind of got like the education facilities in here at the moment so yeah i'm, I'm thinking about building this area up into a more high high density area it's probably going to put a lot of strain on our infrastructure but that's fine kind of don't mind that i may even need to add in an extra connection to this area probably from this bridge so cars can come down here get off there and then sort of get into the area through uh, through this zone here not sure yet though that's a job for next episode i hope you've all enjoyed this episode it's taken me an absolute age to make oh what's the problems we're having that's again a job for next episode <laughs> uh, thank you all very much for watching i'm gwent gamer goodbye